All right, so in this video, I will show you the conversation between the Q960, Q970, and Q980. Uh, for the beginning, the Q960 uh, was released in 2016, late 2016, in the Mate series. But here we have the Honor 9, which has the Q960 and 4GB of RAM. On the middle, it is Q970 in the Mate 10 Pro. And that one was released in late 2017. And on the far right, it is the Q980, the first 7 nanometer CPU released in the Mate 20 Pro at the end of 2018. Well, um, the Mate 10 Pro and Mate 20 Pro has 6 GB of RAM, so they have advantage over Honor 9. And we'll begin with uh, synthetic benchmarks and then we'll jump to the speed test using uh, re applications, opening them and closing and see how they perform. Alright, so those are the Geekbench 5 scores and as you can see, going from Kirin 960 to Kirin 970 there's only a small bump in multicore performance. But going from Kirin 970 to Kirin 980 there's a huge jump in single core performance and also in multicore performance. Alright, so the old phones are actually done. As you can see, and there is a small performance increase going from Kirin 960 to Kirin 970, especially in uh, GPU and uh, CPU. And uh, going to Kirin 980, we can see a massive performance bump. Also, a very important thing is that the Kirin 970 is built on 12 nanometer, Kirin 960 is built on 16 nanometer, and as you can see, it heated from 40 to uh, 56 degrees, and the Kirin 970 went only from 36 to 46 degrees. So uh, it hits up uh, less than Q960, which had throttling issues. And that means when uh, the phones will hit up, uh, they will lose performance. So the, eventually the Q970 will be much better. But going to Q980, we see it went only from 42 to 44 degrees. Uh, that CPU is a real monster. It scored a very high score and it also didn't heat up much. It is built on 7 nanometer. And now let's jump to AI tests. Well, those are the AI scores for artificial intelligence on Antuto. And as you can see, uh, the Q96 and Q970 have uh, very similar scores. The Q970 also has a dedicated neural processor unit. The Q960 does not. And going to Q980, which also has a dedicated uh, neural processor unit, we can see a massive performance bump because it has more cores and it is much more efficient. So uh, going to Q980, um, it's actually better in every aspect. Uh, the GPU is better, the performance, not just a bit better, but uh, almost 50 to 100% better. It's definitely worth the upgrade. And it's still a very capable device, even in early 2020. Alright, and those are the Antutu HTML5 tests. And as you can see, the Q970 is a bit faster than the Q960, as uh, it is almost trend. You saw that in every single benchmark. And uh, of course, huge performance jump uh, upgrading to Q980. So that means uh, browsing the web will be much faster, especially if you have uh, the connection that is fast enough on the Mate 20 Pro or actually devices with Q980. Alright, so the 3D Mark um, test is actually done, and as you can see, there is a big jump going from the Q960 to Q970. They upgraded the GPU heavily. As you can see, almost um, three times the performance in Vulkan and in OpenGL, almost 
uh, six times the performance of the Q960. And also going to Q980 from Q970, you can also see a nice 50% uh, uh, jump in performance.